hope you're all staying safe, staying healthy. Obviously, with Miss Rona being around, we can't exactly do much or go anywhere too crazy. So I thought today that I would bring you guys along with me. What I do in a morning of isolation. So I don't know, it might be fun, it might not. And I'm also going to show you guys my skincare routine because I know a lot of you have been asking what my skincare routine is. So I'm going to be showing you today. First things first, I have just woken up the birds very slightly. Tyler and I are about to go for a nice morning walk. So we're gonna go on our morning walk first and then we'll come home and we'll wake the birds up properly. I mean, they're pretty awake as is. I've just opened up the, the little sheet so that I can see out the window, but the window is actually frosted over. It's very, very cold, but it is the first day of spring, which is very, very exciting. So as cold as it may be, it is definitely going to get much warmer. Also this morning I am wearing my merch it's very cozy and it's very very comfy so that's why I'm wearing it today they have two little cockatiels on them highly inspired by the two loud beepers in the background there but yeah if you want to snag one of these bad boys I will leave the link down in the description below without further ado because these birds are not gonna get any more quieter let's go on our walk it is freezing guys since isolation has happened we have been going on a morning walk basically we've been trying to like kick goals every day so yesterday's goal was that we needed to get 10,000 steps we did reach it we got to about 8,000 so today we're gonna try and reach 10,000 steps but I just want to tell you guys that on our morning walks I see so many cute rosellas now rosellas are native to Australia they are just these rainbow parakeets and they're so beautiful there's also rainbow lorikeets as well hopefully within the next couple of clips is a nice montage of all the birds that we see so hopefully enjoy So we are back from our walk. I think we actually ended up doing like 9,500 steps. So we were very, very close, but we're actually exhausted. going to appear a little bit like echoey. I'm also sitting in the bathroom because my ring light broke. So I have to return that today. I'm shipping it back off and I'm getting a replacement. So I don't actually have the best lighting situation at the moment. So I'm really, really sorry about that. This is as best as it's gonna get. Uh, it's 11 o'clock and basically I'm just going to be running you guys through my skincare routine. Now, if you haven't already seen my Alkira skincare video, you should definitely go check it out because that is what I use. These guys are amazing. They are an all Australian company. They only use Australian botanical extracts in their ingredients. It's all vegan, it's all clean, it's all beautiful. I love these guys so, so much. So first things first, I'm going to be starting off with the gel cleanser. This includes finger lime, caviar, Davidson plum, and Kwandong, and it is going to leave my skin clean and glowing. So I'm just going to wet my hands, and I'm basically just going to pop on a little bit, pop my hair back, and then I'm just going to rub it into my face. Oh, this smells so good. I love the smell of this. I think it's the finger lime caviar, like it smells Oh, it just smells really, really yummy. I think I might tie my hair up just like that and I'm going to rinse my face real quick. All right, so next thing we have is the pore refining facial scrub. Now this is my favorite scrub ever. It smells amazing because it is made with aniseed myrtle, emu apple, and lemon myrtle. As you can imagine by those ingredients, it smells gorgeous. Now this is going to help promote healthy circulation in my skin and it's also going to be giving me a nice deep cleanse. 
It's such a beautiful gray color as well. I love it. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit. That's a lot, but it's fine. And I'm just going to dampen my face real quick. And I'm just going to be rubbing it into my face in circular motion. I'm feeling very exfoliated. I'm just leaving it on my face for a little minute because it smells so good. I need to get more and I'm absolutely in love with this. I don't think I will ever choose any other exfoliating scrub for my face. Like this is it for me. I love it. So I'm going to be quickly washing that off with warm water once again. Oh, okay. I'm feeling very exfoliated and very red in the face. Um, I have very sensitive skin. So every time I like touch my face, my skin is like, Phew. now this is the fun step. This is where I get to do a face mask. I absolutely adore face masks. I love doing them. I feel like it's very therapeutic. It is 10 out of 10 for me. But I am using the Finger Lime Caviar, Kakadu Plum, and Kwondong in the Mineral Radiance Facial Mask. Now, this is the. Oh, I just got it on my sleeve. Now, this is the pink mask. I think they have a charcoal one, and I know that they have another one that I really want to try. But for now, I got this one sent to me, and I absolutely adore it. So I'm not complaining, honestly. So I used to find with pink masks that it would actually stain my face. My face would be redder than it's meant to be, and I really, really hated that. So I never actually used them. So when I had this one sent to me I was very skeptical and I was just kind of like well I mean I can only try it right and I fell in love like it is so soft on my skin it actually helps like refreshing my skin it helps me gain confidence so quickly and I also found that it comes off so easily as well like once it's dried onto your skin it slides off your face it's absolutely gorgeous I honestly use like way too much on my face but honestly where's the limit let's be real now I'm gonna leave this on for 20 minutes so I'm basically just gonna sit in my bathroom and watch TikToks Okay, so 15 minutes has roughly passed and I am very lobster looking. It's a vibe, okay? Going to be washing off with warm water and then we will get into toning. So I just wanted to show you guys how easily it rubs off. Um, just as simple as that. And there's no red stainage, which is amazing. I got some on my sleeve. I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay, so the next step to that is toner. Now I use the vitamin C plus tonic. It does wonders to my skin. I absolutely love this. If I ever have like a blind pimple on my chin, I just grab a little cotton pad and just pop a little bit on, rub it over that pimple and it is not as vibrant the next day. So I really, really love this stuff. It is amazing. So this includes finger lime, caviar, kakadu plum and kwondong as well. And it's going to encourage my skin to kind of rejuvenate and unclog my pores. So I'm just going to grab my cotton pad and I'm just going to, oh gosh, I've got it all over my leggings. I'm just going to wipe it all over my face. Oh, my skin feels so nice after that face mask. Like it's feeling very baby soft at the moment. So I have a pimple actually like right there. It sucks. It's in such a crap spot. So I'm just focusing the tonic in that area. I get a lot of pimples here as well. So I'm just wiping there as well. Now there's only two more steps to go guys. So we're almost there. And the next step is the hydrating facial oil. This is some of my favorite stuff. This is kangaroo paw and macadamia. Now it comes with a little eye dropper applicator like that and I'm just going to pop a couple of drops in the palm of my hand. I usually do about four and then I'm just going to rub it in my face. I kind of go in between using this and Sukun's Rose Hip Oil. I love both of them just as much. I don't really have a preferred one, but I just kind of vary between the two. Now, a lucky last step in my skincare routine today is the antioxidant night cream. Now it says night cream. I'm going to be using this more as like a moisturizer essentially. So if I open it up, it's yellow and it looks so pretty. It smells delicious as well. So this is Kakadu Plum, Kwondong and Finger Lime Caviar. And I love this so, so much. It hydrates my skin so well. And it just makes me feel really, really good. Like that's all we want. <laughs> So I just pop some little bits oops, on my face and on my neck and then I'm just going to rub this in. And we are all done and complete. I'm sick of looking like Mrs. Turnbull, so let's get rid of the bun. And that is me all done, replenished, feeling fresh as heck. I'm feeling good. Like my skin right now is feeling amazing. The thing I love about Alkira is the fact that this, the products never feel sticky on my face, 
whereas I found with most skincare products they would just kind of sit on my face and that's about it whereas I can feel with Alkira it actually seeps into my skin it's going into my pores so yeah I really really love Alkira I think they are absolutely amazing I cannot recommend these enough so as I can see that my camera is going flat so I'm going to say goodbye to you guys but for now I hope you enjoyed this video today don't forget to like and subscribe down below so that you can let me know that you like my content and I will see you guys in my next video so ciao for now Bye.